Shalom, shalom, church of God. How are you doing? Wherever you are, God bless you. I am pleased to thank people who did not miss this morning prayers. And also the needs you write down in your comments, we read them. The ones say, Amen. God bless you and let it be like how you believe. Jesus prayed for people and he told them let it be as you trust and also let it be in the way you're believing in Jesus name all of you people we are together this morning I greet you I wish you a good day let's thank the Lord God our rock our hope our victory our salvation our presence your protection and also our peace our respect our favor and also our living we thank you because it's you Lord we thank you because of that this morning your anointing my man face we give you the glory we thank you we praise you in Jesus name we take over the powers of the demons whatever is fighting to know God whatever is fighting the world to be burnt and to be consumed things fighting the prayers this morning to be removed let them listen to us listen to us like how you listen to Paul and Silas in the morning, morning and you did a mighty work God in Jesus name Amen, Amen. may the Lord Jesus bless you you've done good to wake up and come in before God we are going to, uh, to read the word of God which we find in Thumbs. Thumbs chapter 41 verse 12. Nuko umwanzi wanje atavugiriza impundu kunesha amen. Let's read Thumbs chapter 41 verse 12. They will not tramp over me, and I will know that you are pleased with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the mark that you are pleased with me, and my enemy shall not tramp over me. The, the happiness of the Lord, starting from the past, is that your enemies the enemies of the children of God or the children of God they do not tramp over us Pharaoh he was pleased to, be, to have God the, slave, the slaves because the Israelites dug for him and used to build for him he had made them his slaves for a long time but we know all those stories how God rescued them one morning then God called Aaron and Moses and he told them I've listened to the cry out of my children and they are crying out because of the cruelty treatment of the Egyptians and now I am brought down to do good to them and listen to the happiness of the Lord that your enemies they do not rejoice over you most times enemies they fight the children of God they are there 
I remember one day I don't know it was in the morning or in the evening the Bible doesn't tell us I remember the troops of Syrians when they had raised over to fight the servant of God Elisha hallelujah Hallelujah. They raised up with the strong weapons. They came up with a plan to end his life. And when they reached where he was, I'll not talk about the long stories about Gehaz. And he commanded them to get blind. And they got blind. God normally make a way for himself. And your enemies. Your rivals. They do not shout of joy over you. And he took them. And took them where he wanted. I got amazed. That word amazed me. Acts of Apostles Chapter 28 Verse 6 The word said that for those one They waited for him To swell up Or to fall down dead When he is dead and it changed they had started saying that the serpent has killed him sometimes you meet a trial and you find your enemies are rejoicing over you and are saying you are a sinner and they say you are an evil person they say you are a traitor even they say you are a foolish person God let them talk then later he changes their words according to the miracle he does he lets them talk then he comes with a word hallelujah, hallelujah. this is a prayer David made in any life you'll go through may you try to pray and pray this prayer which is saying that God be pleased with me get out of the life and be pleased with God may the Lord be pleased with you when someone is walking on the way and when God is pleased with you, you come to know it. You feel it. Don't, don't wait for others to tell it to you. When you're going to sleep, and when God is pleased with you, you sleep and no understand it. Even in the dreams, you'll be pleased that God is pleased with me. Pray in this morning and ask God to be pleased with you that's a very big weapon and he said this is a mark that you are pleased with me is that my enemies they do not stand and trump over me oh yeah no hey hallelujah 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 your enemies they do not tramp over you instead they scatter the word is saying the voice of God it spoke on top of our enemies and they divided themselves this is the mark pray like in this morning 
and purify yourself and move in the right way move in the ways of God then in your spirit after you feeling that God is pleased with you and tell him this is a mark which shows that you are pleased with me and my enemies so that they do not tramp over me this word has given it to him I'm told that the Lord that he will not let your enemies trump over you because of your life there is a reason why you are the one following these prayers there is a reason why you are the one standing in these prayers it is for you to do your enemies in this morning they do not trump over you one time Moses prayed in the time when the Israelites they had gone against God God was going to punish them. And the servant of God prayed. And he said that God. In Egypt what will they say? Will they say. That the God got them from Egypt. And killed them in the desert. And he pleaded for them. And the grace of God came upon them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Iman. God. He doesn't accept. Your enemies. Trump over. Over you. So that for them get happy. That your life is over. God aside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has said that. He hasn't accepted your enemies to trump over you. He has given you the powers to get out of them. He has given you the powers which makes you cross and jump over the tracks which were before you, which were put so that I may end your life. You jump over them. Not trump over you. Amagambo. The words Bakufugaga. they were speaking about you and shaming you Wakunanize. that they defeat you will not manage you. We take the Lord God, he has said that they will not rejoice over you. Kunesh. They will not rejoice over you. How comes they will not shout the joys of overcoming? It is because they are preparing their failure. It can't be possible. God has spoken to you. It will not be possible. May you help me read this word somewhere. Read these psalms in your heart. It will not be possible. It will not go through. They will not reach it. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes. That's what the Lord said. He has said. They will not receive a blessing. They will not get authority. <laughs> I've seen you getting protected this morning. I've seen you getting protected with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is covering you. The blood of Jesus is surrounding you. You are protected in the blood of Jesus. You are protected in the powers of the Lord. You are someone special. You are in the powers. You are in the victory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Saying this word. And also share it with someone who is your friend. As you do it, it has worked for you. And they also believe it will work for them. If you love God. Share this word to many people. And after sharing it, I've seen their powers coming upon you. And I've seen your eyes. I've seen good things. Receive victory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. We are going to continue in the evening in our prayers. Pre YouTube. On YouTube Live. If it's your first time to follow us, subscribe. Subscribe. Already staff, you're seeing down there. So that you'll be alert, we've started the prayers. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye.